Have you ever seen a community garden in action? Maybe in person or on TV, it is quite something. People from all walks of life coming together to grow flowers and fruits, vegetables and herbs. Each person has their own little plot of land they care for. But they're also connected with each other's plot of land too. Like if one person doesn't weed their plot of land, the weeds could spread and impact their neighbor's plants. Tending to your piece of the community garden can never just be about you. You're always having to think about the people around you, what they need, and how you can help. Each person humbly considers their impact on the rest of the group. We live in a world that often feels like it's all about me all the time. People only thinking about their opinion and how the world impacts their personal life. But the world doesn't work that way. We need each other. We can't live the life God wants for us when all we think about is ourselves. We need to see the needs of others and figure out how we can help. It's just a few of the reasons we're taking this month to discover a little bit more about humility. We define humility like this, putting others first by giving up what you think you deserve. Throughout the Gospels, we see how Jesus is the ultimate example of humility. After all, if anyone had a right to have an ego, it was Jesus when he stepped on this planet. He had every right to be full of himself because he is God. But instead, he gave up his own rights as God and put everyone around him first. Jesus' whole life and death was centered on humility. So this month, we'll look at several of these moments throughout the Gospels, starting with Palm Sunday, a triumphal entry but not on a mighty war horse. Instead, a humble donkey. The crowds in Jerusalem are ready to make Jesus king, but instead of shopping for a crown, Jesus hosted a meal for his disciples. When they arrived, they might have expected a servant to wash their dirty feet, but instead, Jesus did the unexpected. He knelt down and one by one washed his disciples' feet. Jesus is an example for all of us. Bottom line, Jesus put others first. In week two, we celebrate that Jesus is alive. The religious leaders were up in arms because Jesus had claimed to be God. It didn't matter that it was true. They were still ready to dish out the ultimate punishment. And Jesus chose to humble himself, give up everything and go to the cross. And three days later, God raised Jesus back to life. All of this so we can spend life forever with God. Bottom line, celebrate because Jesus is alive. In week three, we'll take a closer look at the passage where we find our memory verse, Philippians 2, 3. Paul writes, don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. In his letter to the church at Philippi, Paul talked about how Jesus is the perfect example of humility. Jesus laid down his rights as the son of God because of the world that needed a relationship with God. We pray that when we look at the people around us and understand just how much Jesus loves them, it will help us change the way we treat them. Bottom line, put others first because Jesus put you first. Then in week four, we head to Luke 24 for the story of two men traveling on the road to Emmaus. Luke tells us that they were sad and confused by Jesus' death on the cross. Little did they know that Jesus was walking right along with them. Jesus explained how his death was the answer to years of God's promises to the Israelites. Men were shocked when they realized that this person was Jesus. They ran back to Jerusalem to tell everyone about what they had just seen. Bottom line, put others first by helping them understand. We finished the month with an important moment for Peter after he had denied knowing Jesus. In John 21, Peter and several other disciples were out fishing on the Sea of Galilee without catching a single fish. Suddenly, they see a man standing on the shore who told them to try the other side of the boat. And sure enough, more fish than the net could carry. Peter immediately knew it was Jesus and took off towards the shore. And after breakfast on the beach, Jesus humbles himself again. And instead of being angry with Peter, he chose love and forgiveness. Bottom line, put others first by making things right. 
All these stories add up to one thing. Jesus flipped the world upside down. Jesus, the rightful king of everything and everyone, chose over and over and over to put others first, put us first. Jesus let go of what he deserved. And we can follow his example, consider the needs of others and put them first. We can't wait to see how choosing humility impacts the kids and families in your community.